morning, a super cool party people. I almost screwed up again, I almost just said people. It is five to seven, and the vlog is about 45% of the way exported. My thumbnail is done, and we are doing fantastically. I still have about 50 minutes before I have to leave for work. My bed is even made. I have been on top of this. And um, I'm just gonna probably write a blog post, get ready, etc. Like today was a good day. I had weird dreams last night and I didn't sleep as well or as long as I would have liked, but last night while I was struggling to fall asleep, I was like, I'm only gonna get six hours. I reminded myself that sometimes when I do work in the morning because I've been staying up till like two o'clock and stuff, I've only been getting four hours of sleep. So I was like, six hours is better than four. Had weird dreams though, didn't sleep the greatest, but we did sleep, so that's a win. I need to drink more water because I'm feeling very and I feel like water will help, but we will get to that. I just want to start the vlog because like that's the thing that I should do. It's actually really funny because I was so organized last night that I packed up my vlog camera in my bag and then when I woke up this morning I was like, well that was stupid because I need it. It's fine. Anyway, just gonna wait for this to finish exporting, probably do a blog post while I wait. I don't think I mentioned it yesterday, but I'm mostly packed. I have all the clothes I need, I just need to throw in a pair of slippers for one, and all my tech stuff, and I'm contemplating if I want to bring embroidery stuff or not. I've been ming and hawing on that. I feel like if I don't, then I'll be productive, because I'll only have my computer. But alternatively, if I don't, I might not be productive because I'll only have my computer. So I'm trying to decide and if I do what I want to bring because I'm certainly not going to bring everything. So <sighs> that's those are the thoughts that are in my head currently. But I'm going to go so I can continue to be productive while this exports. And I'll check in with you either just before I leave for work or at work. Alrighty, so we are here. We are at work. I put on makeup because I had some time. And also because I've been getting up earlier and still haven't quite got the eight hours of sleep at night, I kind of feel like I look like a zombie half the time. So we are here. It's really weird to be sitting here and not starting the vlog. Like the entire way as I was walking over here, I was like, good morning, good morning, good morning. But no, I already started the vlog. We we're already two hours basically into our day. I am here obviously. It should be a short shift, hopefully. <laughs> I don't have too much to do. Tuesdays, I think I've mentioned, are just like my kind of admin, like get stuff done, get stuff ready. It's very rarely that I have like a ton of stuff to do on Tuesday. It's usually like my chill day, which is nice because it's like my socializing day <laughs> because at the theater, we have four hour calls. So no matter what, you have to work for four hours. And my tasks on Tuesday typically do not take the full four hours. Sometimes they do, but normally they're a little bit shy of the four hours. And you can leave early. Like as long as your job's done, you can leave early. You still get paid for that four hours. But I feel bad about doing that. So instead, just throughout the day, I just like, hey, how's it going? Hey, let's socialize, da, 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 da. which is maybe bad too, but that's my Tuesdays. <laughs> you know, people have their Mondays water cooler talk where they catch up on the weekend that's my tuesday <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go it's weird to not be like i'm gonna go and have my breakfast drink but i'm gonna go i think i need to tape my knee before i start work i had my knee taped for the last two days and it was great but last night i was like overheating and i couldn't get to sleep and the tape was irritating me so i took that off and threw it on the floor i cleaned it up this morning but i think i'm gonna tape it before i start work just because there's stairs in this building and i'm gonna have to be up and down them a couple times today because they're the thing that annoys my knee the most i think taping it is a good idea also my body's a little bit sore from the hike yesterday walk hike i don't know what it was the hour long thing <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna go do that I keep wanting to say drink my breakfast drink. I'm gonna go do that and then get my day started and then see if we can get out of here right at four hours. That'd be awesome. Well, hello. I am back home now and sitting on the floor because I can. I was getting into the truck after work and my mom's boyfriend's truck doors suck one way or another. It doesn't matter which one it is. It's got a terrible thing that you need to do to like open it or whatnot. But, um, this one, you have to slam it like as hard as you possibly can just to get it to latch, like not even get close all the way. Like there still will be like a slight gap because it's a dropped 
door and then so you gotta there's no way for you to pick it up and slam it when you're inside of it you can do it when you're outside of it but not when you're inside of it so I was like getting in and he's like oh hurry up hurry up and so I slammed it and I broke my nail so badly let me put you down so like probably right about there is where I broke this finger nail and like my nails not even that long and it is so painful right now I like I can't even function I am right-handed so this is a problem I cannot type at least for now until the pain goes down but even then like I don't want to break this nail because it will suck because it's so low so I've I want to trim the nail so that it won't catch on anything but right now I'm just hoping that if I leave it like this for a while it'll figure itself out so it's currently the same length it's just a little it's probably about as long as that one so like not even that far past the tip of my nail <sighs> and it is so broken so the problem arises because I still have to finish packing and um, I thought this would be easy it would not be so yeah I'm gonna slowly putter I guess I'm glad now that I packed most of my clothes last night I still have to change because I don't want to wear the stuff that I wear to work over there I'm there for two nights like I mentioned wow it is miserable outside the rain is just coming down like crazy I had to pop outside a couple times today at work and let me tell you I was so grateful that I managed to time it so it wasn't raining or it was only raining a little bit but now it just kind of sounds like it's just gonna come down for the uh, rest of the day so you know whatever I will soon be in puppy heaven at some point between now and then I have to cook myself some food and I mean finish packing I don't really have, I don't think I put anything on my list for today if we're being honest and I'm kind of glad for that I was contemplating last night if I want to bring my embroidery or not when I go <sighs> I'm, I'm conflicted so here's the thing the two puppers Harley and Dixie you've met them before they are old puppers they do not get up early they chill they relax they nap most of the day that's usually what I do when I'm with them partially because I have allergies so I'm usually on allergy meds but also because it's just fun to chill and so I'm like should I continue getting up at 6 in the morning while I'm there because I won't want to leave my bed because if I leave my bed then the dogs will get up and I feel bad about that but then again like do I really want to break this routine and then I'm like should I bring my embroidery well if I don't bring my embroidery then I'll only have my computer so then I can only be productive except on the flip side then I can also only be unproductive so I gotta do a lot of thinking over this next little while I'm kind of leaning towards bringing it because it's fun to do but also I use this finger a lot so I don't know we'll see I'm rambling now like no other I think I'm gonna put on a show or something figure out what I need from this bag in the past I usually bring a slightly larger suitcase and then I usually bring my backpack because I often have to go to work but I do not have to go to work while I'm there so I think I'm just gonna try to get everything in that suitcase with maybe the exception of my laptop that I might just put in a laptop bag or conversely the exception of my camera which I might put in my purse I know you don't care this is just my train of thought and this is where I am currently going with things but yeah I'm gonna go take care of that and then so it's one o'clock now I'm getting picked up probably just after four so I got a couple hours alrighty so I've changed I, had I changed? I don't think I changed. I think I was sitting on the floor last time I checked in in my work clothes still. I changed. I'm wearing the same outfit I wore yesterday because I just don't even care. And because I'm going to the house with the dogs, I'm going to have to wash it any whatever I wear anyway. So I figure I'll just wear this and I'm not going anywhere or I don't intend to go anywhere for the next couple days. I'm just going to chill with the dogs. So I'm just, I brought very little in the way of clothes. I'm actually all packed up now. There's my suitcase and I'm bringing my backpack as well because I decided to bring my embroidery stuff and so it just makes life easier because the other stuff wouldn't fit in my suitcase with the embroidery stuff. It's not that I'm bringing a ton of embroidery stuff, it's just it's a very small suitcase. So we're all packed except for my laptop and I need to grab my iPad charger. But other than that, I'm all good. I feel like I'm forgetting things because like my idiot bag that I keep in my backpack, I've mentioned it before, it has pretty much every single charging thing I could need in it with the exception of my camera battery charger and my iPad battery charger. And also I have a toiletry bag that I usually just have ready to go for travel and it's got my solid conditioner and shampoo for travel 
and my toothy tabs for my toothpaste. It's got a small travel toothbrush. Like, it's got everything in, in it, so I just need to grab it and throw it in. And the only extra thing I needed to add was my toner and my allergy medicine. So, like, really, it's just me grabbing stuff because I'm somehow really organized and putting it in there. And I don't understand how that happened. But we've done that. I brought, I'm bringing my book as well. I will finish it while I'm there. And I'm like, should, should I bring a second book? <sighs> I decided I wasn't going to, but maybe I'm just going to have chill time there. <laughs> I'm conflicted now. <laughs> anyway, I still got time. It is only 3 o'clock. Jessica's dad's doctor's appointment is at 4, and then who knows how long that's going to be. And then he's just going to swing by and grab me on his way home. So, yeah, I'm going to think about it. <laughs> We shall see. I was going to bring invoicing stuff, but I'm going to be back on Thursday. I was going to do it Thursday anyway, so it's fine, but... Ah, okay. I need to think about if I'm going to bring my book. Got to grab the iPad charger, and then I am good to go. I'm just going to chill for a bit and um, see what I decide to do, I guess. Alrighty, so it is 4 o'clock now. I'm officially, officially packed. I think, honestly, I might be missing stuff, but at this point, oh, whatever. It's two days. I'm not that concerned. All I need to put in is my laptop. I lied. And my camera. So I'm like officially, officially, almost officially packed. But I'm about to throw my camera in now. So that's what I'm going to do. I've, I'm bundled up. Oh, this battery's about to die. Good thing. I'm bringing my extra one and my charger. And I will see you with the puppers. And now I'm here with the puppers. There's good old Dixie and Harley over there. Hi, sweetie. So I'm obviously here. I am flagging real hard. It's quarter to seven and I already want to pass out, but that's not going to happen. Um, and I should probably eat some food. So that's where we're at. But I want to update because I showed up and then I just have been chilling since. Like laying on the couch, watching HGTV. It's my guilty pleasure. And then fed these puppers. And now I'm thinking about doing some embroidery. But we will see. But I should probably eat first because I'm like, Ugh hungry. <laughs> so I ordered some skip the dishes because I was too lazy to cook any food. It's fine. Don't worry about it. White spot delicious. Um, tomorrow I'll cook food, but today I was just like not feeling it. So reading this, I'm working on an embroidery piece, which I'm not going to pick up because my hands have food on them now. So I'll show you after. It's really funny. It's up in the lines with puns and why, why, why. <laughs> Okay, so it's just about 9 o'clock. Oh, it's 9.02 now. It's just after 9 o'clock. I finished eating and I've just been working on some embroidery stuff. It's really difficult with this finger out of commission because you don't realize how much you use it. And I think that's why, like, my tracing is kind of crampy. My cutting was questionable. And just my stitching in general is not the greatest. Because, <laughs> like... I'm right-handed and therefore I use this finger a lot, so what can you do? But I did promise to share a thing that I worked on. I was trying a new stitch that I've never used before, um, so it's all right. I'm not 100% in love with it. I think it's hilarious though, but I did have a lot of issues. Again, it might be the stitch. It could be my finger. Who knows? Finally. Finally, nice and comfy there. But anyways, here it is. <laughs> Surprised Pikachu. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. It's been on my list for a while to do because I just think it's so stupid. I think eventually as I get better with the satin stitch, I want to do it on felt and like fill him in so he's completely yellow, but I'm pretty stoked with how that turned out. Because it is just after nine, I'm going to start getting ready for bed. I think I need to kind of take care of my room and sort it out a little bit because I just kind of threw my suitcase on the bed to pull out my embroidery stuff and you know, no. <laughs> I'm also now starting to have an allergic reaction a little bit, which isn't bad because I've been here for about four hours. So, you know, I'll take it. So yeah, I think I'm going to sort everything out and um, get ready for bed. In a couple minutes here, I have to give little Miss Dix, there she is, her uh, evening pill. And then, yeah, hopefully in bed by around 10-ish. Am I going to get up at 6 tomorrow is the question. I really should, but... 
we'll keep thinking about it. If you've never been here before, here is the purple room. It was my friend Jessica's room when she lived here. I remember when they redid it. It used to be orange and brown when she lived here. I can't remember if they redid it. I think they redid it purple after she moved out, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're gonna take these. There's a bathroom there, but it has a pedestal sink, so no, no, no. We come over to this one because it's got tons of room. So that can go there and that can go there. I usually try not to use makeup wipes, but uh, <laughs> I have them. And back we go. This is Jessica's mom's walk-in closet. It's not just YouTube influencers that have one of those. That used to be a bedroom. <laughs> All right, what do I need from here? I need my jammies. I need my teddy bear. I don't need that. I would like that. We should probably pull out these. You know, I'm gonna put these in the bathroom too because I'm gonna probably have to redo my thing at some point. I brought my clippers too for when it gets to the point that I have to cut the nail. Ah, I haven't cut it yet because I fear that the leverage would just cause the whole part to rip off, so I'm waiting as long as I can. All right, I got my book here. I might even just finish reading this book tonight, if we're being honest. And glasses. Ooh, slippers. I'm such an old lady, like especially today, I'm traveling with my own slippers and embroidery. All right, I have two pairs of socks on. This is not going well. All right, I think that's everything I need for the moment. So I'm just gonna close this up. And then we can just conveniently slide this in here. There's tons of baskets here now, which is nice, because when I'm here for a long time, I tend to unpack. All right, this guy I'm gonna pull out to bring to the kitchen. Do I need anything else? The next book. <laughs> I think that's good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pull my laptop out of here. Where did I put my laptop cord? Ah! Just because I don't want to be, if I do get up at six, I don't want to be doing this then. Okay, that's it, right? Yeah. Missing one finger in, in usefulness sucks. And I know this because once upon a time I detach the tendon in the middle finger on my left hand and oh boy did that make life difficult. I feel like I'm about to drop something because I've got my laptop and the cord and this jar so we f and the camera obviously. All right that's down there this I'll put on the table and now at this point I guess I'll just check in with you before bed but I think I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna change in my jammies and um, I know this camera's great. What if I stand at an angle? Does that work? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just going to go change my jammies, finish getting the bed ready, pull off all the decorative pillows I don't need, and then give Dixie her pill, and then it's almost go time for sleep. Alrighty, it's just about 10. I think just like me, these puppers are ready for bed. Or oh, isn't that right, Dixie? And then we got Harley just already passed out over here. He looks so cozy. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah. Anyway, with that, I am all ready to go to bed. I've done my skincare routine. I'm in my jammies, and my bed is all set up. So, we're at that point. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I will see you theoretically bright and early tomorrow morning when we do very similar things. Good night.